Hello everybody and welcome back to a Wednesday edition of Tyler's Sports Cards. Hope you're all having a good week out there and today on the channel we are finally, for the first time in what seems like forever, going to open up a new product on the day that it is released. We have a little bit of 2021 Topps Heritage Minor League. I got three hobby boxes here. We're gonna open one of them today, probably one tomorrow and then one, eh, maybe over the weekend, maybe next week, we'll see. But anyways, we're gonna open one hobby box at Topps Heritage Minor League today. I was really hoping the UPS man would get early. That could be one of the first videos on YouTube. Seems like some people got it yesterday. No, I already saw Hasta Cards post it, a few other people post it. So it looks like it should be a fun uh, set. Checklist isn't great. I bought these for $75 off presale on blowoutcards.com a couple months ago now, thinking maybe it'll go up. But it actually, as of yesterday, there were some $70 boxes out there. And today I've seen boxes uh, going for as low as $60 on eBay. So it looks like I was a little off buying them early. Sometimes that's just how it is. But this year we got two Arn Cotter autographs per box. Uh, past years, there was only one, at least for the past, I believe it's like four or five years now. Spencer Torkelson on the front. We're going to get right into this. I believe there is 18 cards. Yep, 18 packs, I mean, and eight cards per pack. Game two of the World Series is tonight. Hope you all enjoyed game one last night. I know the Framber Valdez did not pitch as well as he did in the ALCS against my Red Sox. I don't think I've posted since they lost. That was very sad. I went to all six home games at Fenway, but no World Series for me this year. 18 packs, six in a row here. We also got one box topper that has three cards in it. We're looking for all the big name prospects. Adley Wander's still in here, even though he uh, reached the major leagues for quite some time this year. Spencer Torkelson, Bobby Wood Jr., among others. Let's uh, start with this. Three poster cards. I was hoping they were going to be big posters, since it's called them poster cards, but I guess better for storage that they're just regular base cards. There's the potential for autographs in here as well. Austin Martin on the front. Oh, nice. They're in their major league uniform. That's pretty cool. Austin Martin. Toronto, of course, now he's a twin, though. Austin Hendricks, Cincinnati Red, Pennsylvania boy, and Kevin Alcantara, now a Cubs. So two of the three players in that pack are no longer with the team. They have picture there. Let's take a look at the odds right there. Like I said, we're going for two autographs, also a bunch of different uh, parallels to get. Blue, green, black, gold, flip stock, and the very rare red. Of course, these are the 1972 design, just like Topps Heritage was this year. Uh, also looking for players in their minor league uniforms. My local boys, the Worcester Red Sox, the Hartford Yard Goats don't have anyone on this checklist, which uh, there should be one, but I'll get to that if I get that player. And the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. We're gonna start off with seventh overall pick, Nick Lodolo, JC Correa, Correa, brother of Carlos, of course, in the World Series. Milan Tilentino. here's our first look at one of these, uh, I don't know exactly what they were called, Blaze Jordan. It's like packed cover cards, I believe it was. Nice Blaze Jordan. Of course, one of the bigger names in Bowman. Actually had a pretty good year. Jared Suster, Aaron Bronto, Tanner Burns, and Austin Hendricks. Love this 1972 design. A lot of the guys, I believe in the, like their complex league uniforms, but there's some good ones. I don't know if they took these pictures at the uh, beginning of the year in April or May, or they just Photoshopped them in, but uh, we got Michelle Urbina, Garrett Mitchell in action, Jeremy De La Rosa. Here's our first one of the Venezuelan stamp cards. Pedro Leon, it's a pretty good name. Saw him in, well, I didn't buy any, but if I did open some Bowman Chrome, could have seen him. Keone Cavaco, Matthew Libertore, Mike Siani, and Shane Boz made his debut with the Pirates in September and pitched in the postseason game two. It was the first game the Red Sox won in that ALDS en route to their beating of the Rays. AJ Vukovic, Alec Thomas, Anthony Servieto, Aaron Sabato, Boyhood Photo of the Stars, Don Tra Willis, the D Train, Eric Pena, Jordan Groshans, my first New Hampshire Fisher Cat, and Justin Torner. Love minor league baseball. Went to a bunch of games this year. Uh, this was the first year of Worcester. It was really cool. They were my closest team. New Hampshire and Hartford aren't far at all. So get to see a lot of the superstars in the Northeast. Grant McRae, Brett Beatty is one of those guys I've seen. Jesse Franklin, Luis Matos. Our first autograph is Alexander Vargas. And I just put them away, but I had to my side that Bowman Platinum uh, mega box I opened last week. Alexander Vargas was one of the autographs. And I was questioning if he was still a Yankee or a Cub. He is in fact a Yankee. So decent name there. At least it is a hitter, but not one of the bigger names. Michael Harris, Ronnie Mauricio, and CJ Van Eyck. On card autographs, which is what is the best about the Heritage brand for sure. My best Heritage minor league hit of all time is probably in 2016. I got a real one autograph of Bregman. Of 
course, speaking of the World Series. Last year, I doubt a, a dual autograph, though, of Jaron Duran and Hunter Bishop. Glenn Allen Hill Jr., Avery Short, Gilbert Sanchez, Alexander Vizcaino. So this is the guy who was traded uh, in the Anthony Rizzo trade. Jordan Nogu traded Hudson Head. Uh, was he a part of the... Hudson Head came from the Padres, so maybe the Adam Frazier trade? Uh, no, Joe Musgrove, Joe Musgrove trade. Uh, Ethan Hankins and Isaiah Campbell. Tuka Pika Marcano was the return in the Adam Frazier trade. Gabriel Moreno, interesting with the Buffalo Bisons, considering he played this season with the New Hampshire Fisher Cats until he got hurt. Josiah Gray, that's what I mean. I, Why well, I think some of these were Photoshopped, even though there's nothing that says Buffalo on there. Uh, Dylan Dingler, Pete Crow Armstrong, now a member of the Chicago Cubs, is our cover card there. Brennan Davis, Matthew Libertori was traded for Randy Arozarain, of course. Andre Nebe and Gunnar Henderson. Gonna open it like that. Zach Veen had an absolute fantastic year with Fresno. Really looking forward to be with, looking forward to him being with Hartford. Maybe next year, maybe the year after. Really great year. Miguel Vargas, Spencer Torkelson. That's one of the bigger names for sure. Jordan Adams. Our first blue is a New Hampshire boy, Grant Levine, number sixty-two out of ninety-nine the highest drafted player ever out of a New Hampshire high school in 2018 by the Colorado Rockies. Looking forward to seeing him with Hartford potentially next year. Didn't have the best year though uh, with Fresno and then Spokane. I don't even know if he made it to Spokane. Mason Wynn, Bryce Ball got traded for Jock Peterson and Xavier Edwards. I know I haven't had, oh, this pack got destroyed on me. I haven't had a lot of content recently. I feel like the price of cards has been way down, especially baseball. The price of cards has been way down and the box prices have just been rising. Maybe Tops uh, realize that now because Sapphire was actually $50 less than it was last year on the site today, but I still passed on it. I can't justify that massive checklist for such a poor rookie class for $250. Matt Manning, Casey Martin, Jake Snyder, Yordis Valdez. Here's our next Venezuelan stamp. It is Nick Gonzalez, seventh overall pick last year. Jordan Walker traded Gabriel Arias. Uh, came over from the San Diego Padres. I think that was the Mike Clevenger trade last year. And another Pirate, G1 Bay. Joan Duran, Braden Shumake, Brandon Marsh, Boyhood Photo of the Stars, Jackie Robinson, Hudson Haskin, Aaron Ashby, Asa Lacey, and Antonio Gomez. Almost halfway done here. Haven't seen many uh, Red Sox names, actually. George Valera, nice name for the Indians prospects. Never had a first Bowman Chrome, actually. Brandon Lewis, Simeon Woods Richardson, uh, also a part of the Austin Martin Jose Barrios trade. Jordan Walker is our next cover card. Colin Barber, Christian Robinson did not play at all this season. Blaze Jordan in action, and Oswald Peraza, nice picture there of the Somerset Patriot. Saw him a couple years ago with Staten Island. Gonna keep it going here with Max Meyer. Jeremy Yadens, some different names in here. Nick Beatsko, Heston Kierstad, Bobby Wood Jr. That is a nice one for a Venezuelan stamp. Tink Hentz, uh, Josuar Garcia, first ever card of him, I think. Nice international prospect for the Phillies. And Xavier Warren. Running out of packs here. I guess we got seven more to go. Not gonna have any, God, these heritage packs are, they're not the worst things to open, but they are tough to open at times. Can be uncooperative. Not gonna be any comps here. Uh, I'll do my best to comp a similar Alexander Vargas card. I would think Bowman Platinum, maybe a little more than Bowman Platinum because it's on card and stick, not sticker, but usually not a ton above. Riley Thompson, Nick York had a fantastic season with Salem and Greenville. Michael Escado, Robert Pawson did not have a great year. Brother Ronald Luis, Angel Acuna, Matthew Thompson, Christopher Morrell, and Robert Hassel. Of course, cards 201 through 220, the 200 card basis of checklist. 201 through 220 are short prints. Uh, I will not check for those in this video. I'm sure I got four of them. Maybe I'll put below who the short prints are as I pull them. Petey Halpin, Reed Detmer, Spencer Torkelson in action. That is very nice. Looks like it was possibly taken in spring training, maybe in uh, camps in the fall. Jared Kelly, Cody Host, Bo Naylor, Freddie Zamora, and Micker Adolfo. Last year when I opened these, I actually completely missed a Glen Allen Hill Jr. autograph. They, if someone has a small autograph and it's a dark background, it can be very tough to tell. Uh, Jefferson Espinel, well, we're gonna have a redemption. That is interesting. I wonder who is a redemption. Jefferson Espinel, 
Kanan Smith was traded for Jameson Tyone. Jose Tena and our autograph is, congratulations, you are to receive a real one autograph blue border. So I believe that's out of 99. Oh, the Levine is out of 99. Parallel of Austin Hendricks. Interesting. So it is a first round pick, which is pretty cool. A little annoying that it is a redemption for our autograph. Love to get that. Isaiah Green, Austin Martin, nice there. Antoine Kelly and Nick Prada. Who is Austin Martin with the GCL Blue Jays? Interesting choice of team there. Sending he started the season in New Hampshire. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. Some of these uniforms, I have no idea when they decide to Photoshop or do them because they make no sense. George Kirby, Travis Swaggerty, Wildard Patino, Corbin Carroll, Boyhood Photo of the Stars, Miguel Tejada, Diego Cartea, Daniel Cabrera, and Orelvis Martinez. Looking forward to seeing him in New Hampshire next year. Had a fantastic season with uh, Dunedin and then Vancouver. He got called up middle of the season from low to high A. Keep it going here with Hunter Green. Should see the major leagues next year. Jeremy Pena from UMaine. Jaron Duran, there's a nice Worcester Red Sox. The first Woo Sox card uh, that has been sent uh, licensed. I can know what I was saying there. Ryan Velade skipped over Hartford. Bobby Wood Jr., nice card there. My second Bobby Wood Jr. Adinso Reyes, Austin Wells, and Grant Levine. Two bags left, would love to get at least a second color. I guess we technically got two because that Hendricks is a blue parallel. Riley Green, nice young prospect for the Detroit Tigers. Ivan Johnson, Burl Caraway, Marco Luciano, nice Venezuelan stamp card there. Tyler Callahan, Austin Martin in action, Vidal Brujan, and James Beard. Last pack, let's see what we can do with it. Quinn Priester, Jordan Westberg, traded Jeter Downs. And this is one of the names I was talking about. Jeter Downs, because he played for my local Worcester Red Sox the whole year. I know where he was the whole year. Jeter Downs never played with the Portland Seahawks. Never. Because he was traded in the offseason for Mookie Betts. It was uh, Downs, Verdugo, and Wong for Betts. And Jeter Downs, he should have played with the Portland Sea Dogs, but they sent him to the Worcester Red Sox. He had a poor season there, hit under 200. Um, and he really should have been in double-A. He kind of skipped double-A altogether. And he's doing really well in the Arizona Fall League right now, though. He has five homers in his last six games, but never played in a Portland Sea Dogs uniform, so this is just a complete Photoshop. Tristan Cassis, uh, he did play with the Portland Sea Dogs for the heavy majority of the year, so that's right. That's nice. That is a short print, by the way. I know that because I looked and made sure I wanted to get my Tristan. Very happy to get that. Simon Muziotti, Evan Carter, Shea Langoliers, and CJ Abrams in action. So that'll do it. Not a ton of, you know, huge hits here. A lot of base, but we did get our two autographs. Austin Hendricks and Alexander Vargas. The Hendricks is a blue border. Uh, I've been doing pretty well with redemptions lately. The tops, my Buster Posey, my uh, card last year from Heritage Miners. They all came within a couple, a month or two. So let's hope that streak continues here. Our one other number card is this Grant Levine on the 99. Cool to get a local New Hampshire boy at least. Uh, some nice box toppers, nice other inserts and a big fat stack of base on expensive Torkelson was the best there. We didn't see Adley or Wander. That'll do it for now. I'll have two more boxes of this one tomorrow. Make sure to enjoy the World Series tonight. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. I got plenty more baseball content coming in the future, even though it is now going to be the off season within the next week. Also follow my Instagram and my TikTok uh, down in the description box below for extended content. Thank you and I look forward to the next time.